everyone welcome to my one of the youtube channel today i'm going to be testing these new uniposca paint markers that i just got and i have never used them before i first saw them on i think little lusky's channel and i've been wanting them for a while so i waited till the prices on amazon went down and then i got this set there are 15 colors in this set and i got them in the size 5m which i regret because these boys are thick I had to activate the markers and to do that you have to first give them a good shaking and as you can probably tell I was a little confused here. And I'm not sure this up and down motion is exactly making me comfortable. Okay back to the non-PG-13 broadcast. Look at how coated this boy is. I mean he's not fully coated but we can just pretend that he is for the sake of this video. I know this activation isn't like aesthetic or anything, so I apologize for the squished, rainbow, sprinkle looking abomination that you're seeing right here. This video will get more visually pleasing, I promise. After I swatch these, I will be coloring in a sketch that I did just to see how they work in an actual piece, so stay tuned. Or skip over, I'll never know anyway. Also like the time lapse doesn't show it but it took me a while to activate these guys and it was pretty tough. I'm a weak bitch with weak ass wrists and little to no history of physical exercise. That's actually why I used to play sports but I was never good at any and that is evident here. Alright now we're gonna move on to the color swatching, pen testing, whatever you want to call it thing. It's basically just me drawing circles with every single one of those 15 colors and they don't even look like circles. I do like how vibrant these Posca pens are and I know they're meant to be used on wood and plastic and shit, but I don't have any wood on me, in every sense of the word. So I went ahead and tested them on crappy sketchbook paper. I like how opaque this white is and I might be using it for a lot of correction work. It was then that I realized that I could use a plastic wrap from the pen box, so I picked a color at random and I wrote high but I didn't really like the texture. I then did a smudge test and I'm glad I did because as you can see, that's where I learned that Posca pens take time to dry. It should have been obvious, the acrylic paint markers. I was just being done. Well, I gathered information on everything that I wanted to know, so now we're on to the actual artwork. I have this random rough sketch that I did beforehand of a girl and a phone of all things and I'll be using these four colors, purple, pink, orange and peach for the piece. I decided to go with this because I don't have that many pens, I mean I know 15 is a lot but at the same time there aren't that many actual colours or shades of the colours that I'll actually be needing. So I figured that using just four of these to colour the sketch in would make it look a lot more cohesive and intentional. If I went ahead with testing out all the colours on one page then it would have just looked very pathetic and nobody wants that. This is when I regretted getting the 5M because these markers are too thick to be trusted with even the most careful of outlining. They're great for filling out large spaces but I bought them to use in my sketchbook so I won't be needing to use them for that large of a space anyway. Even if I did I could always use my actual acrylic paints. I was feeling nervous about the outlines and going into delicate spaces. So if you're getting Posca pens for sketching purposes only, then I suggest you go for the 3M or 1M so that you don't run into a lot of inconveniences like this. I used orange for the background because it adds a lot more contrast to the image. I was initially afraid that it would clash with the light orange but it doesn't look that way so it's completely fine. Again, the outlining around the character's body was very nerve-wracking and you'll see me get a little confused with what to do right about here when I have this awkward pause. But later on when I replayed the video, I found the filling up bits to be mildly satisfying. So I hope you enjoy that visual ASMR. This reminds me of those TikToks people would make that are titled send this to an artist to annoy them and it's footage of them colouring inside the lines before suddenly colouring out of it at the last moment so that the viewer gets this itch in their arm because ugh, unsatisfying much. I tried very hard to not do that here. Anyway, I'm doing the phone now and I realised how much I hate this particular shade of pink. I mean, I'm not a fan of warm colours in general and I make it a habit to stay away from red, pink and orange because 
They're very obnoxious colors, but I have a personal vendetta against this shade of pink in particular. I used to get sick a lot as a kid and my mother would force feed me cough syrup that tasted like vomit flavored chalk. And it was this exact shade of pink. So now when I see this shade of pink or any kind of pink that comes close to it, I think of cough syrup. So I don't like pink or warm colors in general. They hurt my eyes. Another thing I realized is when you're using Posca pens, you have to be aware of the direction of your strokes and match them to flow with the tip of the pen. I'm not sure how to explain it here, but it's similar to when you use a paintbrush and you maneuver the brush with how the brush hairs move, because if you try to maneuver it against the bristles and the paint sort of splatters everywhere, that's what happens with the Posca pens as well, and that is why I'm not outlining it in one fixed direction. I gave my character purple hair and I'm really jealous because I've always wanted purple hair. I think this is what really ties in the piece and gives it some more visual interest as opposed to a more conventional hair colour though. I'm going to stop talking for most of this video right now because I ate way too many Takis but I finished my water ages ago and I'm way too lazy to get up and get a refill. My mouth is dry now so you're going to have to suffer in silence. Or my music. I don't know. I don't want to let you down. It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out But I promise if you stick around it'll never get boring We'll spend nights cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now Will you stay Even when you wanna walk away When time Get bad We can learn to love what we have I don't wanna let you down Without you would be boring And we'll spend nights Cheap red wine Look at flats Even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now I don't wanna let you down I started outlining everything a while ago with the Tombow for the University brush pen. I didn't use black because as much as I love black, it doesn't tie in with the essence of the sketch and it would have been too stark and hence unappealing because there's no actual black in the artwork. Since the character already has purple hair and the shade of the pen is also on the dark side, I figured it would be the best colour to outline with. I'm glad I chose it because it actually ties everything in. I know it's a whole style to not do any line art or any outlining with pieces created using Posca pens, but I am a chronic outliner. It's just my style and because I used chunky pens, my lines were not as clean as they should have been initially. So I felt that doing this line art really cleaned everything up and made the art look a lot more finished. I also used this brush pen to add the shadows in the skin, the tank top and the hair. I thought it would be a little more artistic than just not having any shadows at all.
Okay, here's where I got really nervous. I had to do her eye research, but because the Posca pens I got are too thick, I was afraid that my hands wouldn't be steady enough to color within the line. I was really careful here and pressed down dot by dot instead of actively coloring so that I would have little margin for error. I then went over with my brush pen and filled in the gaps that the Posca pen was too big to neatly fill. Cause you dragged me down in your I outlined her eyes and lashes with the same brush pen and gave her eyebrows which for some reason are visible right on top of her hair instead of through but eh, I'm sure she doesn't mind. Finally I used my white sakura jelly roll to add some highlights and finishing touches. It shows really well over the Posca paints because of the opaqueness. My final verdict on the Uniposca paint markers is that they are very easy to use as long as you get the size most suitable for you. They're really expensive, I got mine on sale after waiting for months, but I've seen a lot of professional artists swearing by these. They're very pigmented and they're pretty much mess free and so I like them. Thank you so much for watching my video and if you want please like and subscribe blah 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 all that good stuff. Oh don't, because like I said, I'll never know. Bye!